flow of heat energy will always flow from the body at higher temperature to the body at lower temperature the bodies will exchange thermal energy until thermal equilibrium is reached that is until the temperatures are equal we say that heat flows from the hotter to the cooler body there are three different ways for heat to flow from one body to another they are conduction convection and radiation conduction it is the process in which heat travels from molecule to molecule from the hot end towards the cold end the molecules themselves do not travel from one end to the other let us understand the process of conduction through an example take a metal rod and fix it to the stand fix thumb tacks along with the length of the rod using wax heat one end of the rod as the rod gets heated the wax melts and the thumb tacks fall off the thumb tack nearest to the end being heated falls off first the farthest thumb tack falls off last the heat is traveling along the length of the rod from the hot end to the cold end this is called the conduction of heat convection let us see an example fill the test tube with cold water drop an ice cube and heat the water from below ice melts quickly this shows that though water is a bad conductor of heat heat easily flows upwards in it the water at the bottom is heated it becomes lighter and rises up the rising water is hot so its molecules vibrate faster they strike other cold molecules on the way up and pass on their energy to them soon their vibrations reduce and the rising water becomes cold the cold water being heavier comes down from the sides it gets heated up and rises again thus the water molecules themselves move and carry heat to the other parts of the water this constant movement of water is called convection current and this method of transfer of heat is called convection radiation is the heat of the sun that reaches us through millions of miles of empty space subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update